Hello everyone and welcome back to Sevo TV. I'm still misled. I'm still with Dust Moret and we are bringing you map number two between Elevate and Ace Gaming. And uh, map number one on Dust 2, extremely close there between these two teams. I mean, Elevate had that, uh, what was that, 11 and 4 half, I believe it was. And it uh, looked like they were just going to mow their way directly through uh, Ace Gaming. But Ace Gaming won both of those pistol rounds and looked very good. And then went on uh, quite a large burn there. Ended up tying it up at 12 to 12. And uh, got it close. Ended up finishing that one 16 to 13. As we were into round 29 of regulation, almost going into overtime there. So let's see if Elevate can shake that off, or is Ace Gaming going to use that momentum to propel themselves forward here onto Mirage and try and come away with a victory, which will be their first one in Sevo if they're able to get it. But Elevate would love to get both of these maps, walk away with the two points in their favor, make something happen. As Vez is able to take down Roka, so Ace Gaming, because this was Elevate's map pick, they get their side choice on this, and Vez is able to pick up another one, trying to grab himself a secondary frag. Can't quite make it happen. XP3 trades him out. Same with Professor Chaos, taking down Disciple. That evens things out at 3-3 three to three now. Yep, as you said, three-on-three three situation. Nice initial frags there from the CT side, but Elevate have been able to play themselves back into the round, and they're bringing that bomb over to the... A side, which is the complete opposite of where you see the CTs closing in at. Uh, Garrett was on like a big flank upper B, uh, all for naught, as uh, Professor Chaos is a pretty sick spot that could also rotate here. We'll see if it works out. Oh, yeah. Able to get those shots off Professor Chaos taking down Pex, so they got the bomb plan. Now it's up to Max Aki and GRT to try and get their way in and make something happen here. Max Aki's gonna go on the hunt here against Professor Chaos. Can he get him down? Very, very close. Max Aki will take down Professor Chaos, so now it's gonna be two on two here. Elevate still trying to hold on. Time is ticking down. Not enough time left for GRT. He's able to get a frag, but can't quite get there in time, and he will go down. Elevate wins that pistol. And indeed, they do. So there you have it. Elevate winning the pistol round off of kind of a, a close three on three situation. Got a little scrappy there at the very beginning, but uh, able to shift over to the A bomb site while Ace was really out of position and then close out the round. So well done from Elevate. As of course, they will start upgrading their guns here and look to get the 3 0 start. If they can hold on and try and grab that. So that's going to be their first pistol round of the night so far. I mean, Ace Gaming won both of them in on dust to excuse me. But uh, Elevate trying to battle their way back and hold on. They don't want to get ecoed here. They're looking pretty decent so far. They got Max Aki caught out at the moment. He's able to escape. He should get away. And no, Roka will collect him. XP3 is able to get one. Same Roka picking up two here. They're looking on point. XP3 out and mid takes a frag down. Gets traded on by Pex. But Storm is there to collect it. And that will be a 2K for XP3, a 2K uh, for Roka. I believe Professor Chaos got that other frag in there. But that is going to make it 2-0 to zero in favor of Elevate, holding on on an anti-eco. Yeah, definitely. I mean, being able to win that second round hurdle against those upgraded pistols uh, is definitely kind of your, your first big challenge. And once you get past that, uh, it's the home stretch for the third round. I mean, you should be able to put this one away, no problem. I mean, it's ace pretty much on a full save. Um, I think maybe some of them got some P250s, but other than that, no money invested. So this should be a pretty clean round for Elevate. That's your goal now. It's just not to drop any guns, not force any rebuys, especially on those guys holding AKs. So Roka is going to be the first one out. Storms all the way into the A bomb site. They banked incorrectly. At least uh, Ace Gaming did had a big stack over there. And Roka is able to hit the first one. Disciple as Vez will trade him out as he makes his way through the window. He's going to get on the push here. And it's going to be a four-man retake attempt here coming onto the A bomb site. They are ecoing though, going against some guns. Aki's able to get a nade touchdown frag onto Pex before GRT trades him out. So GRT will pick up that MP. Going to try and work here with NP7 in his hands as Storm removes Max Hockey. Now it'll be a two-man retake attempt. We actually have Vez with a Galil in his hand, so they might hold on to that Galil because time is ticking down quite a bit. They don't even have time to defuse this, so they're going to back up, try and get some frags. If they can, GRT will go down to XP3. No big deal there, but Vez does have that Galil, and he should be able to save that as no one should get near him in time. Yeah, he will hold on to the Galil. Um... I mean, I guess they were going to full buy next round anyway, regardless of whether or not he had this Galil, but I guess that does help out a little bit, the long-term economic uh, plan, as far as being able to have a little bit of extra cash. Uh, you know, he has 1950 now, still saved, so that it could help out maybe down the road. So, uh, yeah, we'll see, though, this opening gun round. They even have a FAMAS on Disciple, though, so kind of two low, 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 low gun players, I guess you could say. This Peck's going to get very aggressive on underpass here. Mike is Professor Chaos, but nope. Oh. Chaos, nice pop flash, able to get down there and grab the frag. 
Professor Pe Professor Chaos coming up big there, taking down Pex initially. And so that's going to be uh, opening frag in favor of Elevate at the moment. As Max Aki takes a bunch of damage in the window, also able to take down Professor Chaos. But uh, here's Roka trying to work his way out of the B-Halls, see if he can get that frag. He knows there was somebody at least decently close to him. That's going to be Disciple. Disciple might go on the jump peak. No, he's got players working up Cat. He's able to take down the first one, trying to get onto Roka. Can't do it. Roka will take him down. And that's going to leave Vez and Max Hockey alive here at the A-bomb site. It would be a two-man retake attempt if they go for it and not just save. But it looks like they're going to save. Yeah, definitely. I mean, you got to save here. These are probably the only two guns you have next round besides some upgraded pistols. And you can still make a play with that type of equipment. Whereas if they just go for this, I mean, they're so far out. And, and B is really hard to retake, especially when you're a man down. So definitely just going to kind of chill out here. Oh, but here comes XP3 coming from behind. Oh, no. Nope. He's actually going to go towards Palance, but... The number one man of Vez should have heard that. Yeah, he heard that. So he's going to be looking in that direction. That's going to leave Max Aki with his back turned wide open here. If XP3 gets a little too quick, and he's going to take down Max Aki. So one less rifle saved if you're Ace Gaming, as Elevate will go up 4-0 to zero over uh, Ace Gaming. Yeah, definitely a big start here from Elevate as they win the pistol. They avoid the anti-ecos. They win the opening gun round, and now they force Ace to save again. This is kind of just the general pattern. You see if you can actually play out uh, the 3-0. The you, you, you know, you kind of can fall in the situation if you're forcing the saves the way that they are. So, you know, definitely a good start here from Elevate here on the T side as they're once again looking for some strong mid control. And they will grab it pretty much uncontested. The Disciple has slipped into underpass with this 5-7, so he could definitely pose a threat if he decides to, to flank Roka or something like that. But it looks like he's just kind of holding out, waiting to see what's going to happen over here at mid. Now, we have uh, Disciple out in the middle getting very aggressive here. He does have the opportunity to catch a player, but he's actually going to turn his back. Professor Chaos will easily pick up that frag. Aggressive out in mid. It's going to be the lurk roll at the moment here. As we only have Vez with a rifle in his hands outside the kitchen. Can he take down Roka? Gets the first one and able to take down XP3. That's going to make it into a three versus three now. But Vez just blinds himself. His teammates don't have a chance really to pick up any rifles here. They're just working with those pistols. So it's going to be up to Vez to pick up another frag or two here. At least draw some attention off. He's able to pick up the first one. They're going to work their way out of B-Halls. They're going to fall directly in front of Aki's. Aki's able to take down Vez. Gets taken down by Max Aki. Bomb's going to be sat on right now. GRT's on it. Professor Chaos just has to defend. He knows it. GRT can't do anything about it. He will pick up a rifle and get away with it. And Professor Chaos is out of there too. He might actually try and catch this rifle. And yeah, he's looking for it. He wants to try and collect this rifle from GRT and not let him save. But he won't get there in time. That'll make it 5-0 to zero in favor of Elevate. That was actually a pretty challenging round there uh, for Elevate, despite the fact that Ace was pretty much on his save. They almost got that away. Professor Chaos kind of saving the day there at the very end, actually. So definitely not the, the comfortable victory they're hoping for. And you see the double op setup coming out in play here for Ace. Mizaki will have his just running uh, over towards A. May even take uh, an apartment's peak with it, a palace peak with his. Disciple going to be patrolling the mid. And once again, Elevate, though, they really love throwing up this smoke at the back of Cat and just exercising mid control whenever possible. And uh, they've done a lot of beast it's off of this this type of play and obviously storm lurking over so this is a, a very fanatic s type of play just sending one underpass playing back mid with a couple lurking outside a and just collapsing on mid and elevates making it work pretty well so far this game it's gonna be another frag actually for max hockey able to make something happen with the op in his hands first one of this round actually excuse me but he's got four in total now he's gonna be tried to get away he thinks the mid boost is coming doesn't want to try and cover it with the op gets away so now we're going to be into a four versus three in favor of Elevate as they're just working down in mid right now. Looks like it should turn into an A split, though. They have one man isolated. That's going to be Vez. He came up big last round. Let's see if he can come up big here. He's got terrorists all around him. Turns his back for the wrong second, but Professor Chaos not ready for it. Able to get taken down, so Vez will pick up two. Now it's going to be just Storm alive in a one versus three. He does have a flank coming around. Molotov's going to burn Vez out. He doesn't care, though. Hits the shot onto Storm. That's a 3K for Vez, and those are some big rounds coming from him. No, definitely. I mean, Elevate just exercising that mid control, yes. And they even had, like, a favorable play because they were about to pinch A with four players, leaving Vez kind of alone, but Mizaki able to avoid, uh, you know, that, that fire that was thrown on Cat, get his op out, and actually grab a kill. And Vez, you know, hiding out there, didn't get spotted out, able to get a kill before he was discovered. So that was kind of the way Ace equalized the round was just off those two plays alone, and then... Vez obviously at the very end kind of closing that out so we see Elevate 
straying away from the mid this time. They're setting up all five outside A, so it's definitely going to be some type of heavy smoke executed on the A bomb site, I'm sure, which we're definitely used to seeing on this map by a lot of different teams, so this is no surprise, but we'll see how it works out. So into round seven, Ace Gaming trying to string together two rounds if they're able to. Elevate would like to get some more in their favor. I mean, five rounds initially on T-side is great on this map. If they can work this into like seven or eight rounds, they've set themselves well up here on CT side. But remember, map number one, they had a good opening half. Man, what a good flash. And Bez is not able to capitalize on it. Actually gets punished. So GRT is going to be hiding in that site. I don't think anybody's seen him yet. He gets spotted out after he takes down Roka. So now Disciple and Pex are going to be the last two alive. GRT goes down. Disciple trying to make something happen. He is either going to burn to death or taken down by Storm. And he goes down. Pex steps out. Aki is there waiting for him at the connector. Takes him down. That's going to be six rounds in favor of Elevate. Yeah, I mean, that's Elevate just kind of changing things up. They've been really, you know, persistent on, on mid control throughout this entire game. But that round, they go for a heavy A hit. We even saw Ace kind of sniff it out, push the A ramp, but they couldn't get a kill with that. And Elevate able to catch the people in awkward space after that and uh, put that round away. And now it does force Ace Gaming on to a save round. They're all going to stack A. And we do see Elevate once again going for that heavy mid control play, as well as just bringing the bomb up or B. So. Just one of those unlucky situations where you try to gamble stack somewhere and unfortunately the bomb gets pushed through the other site. So into round eight, Elevate has free reign into the bomb site. They know it now. Flank attempt coming out though. XP3 is there and waiting for it, looking for one more player. There's going to be one more there. That's going to be GRT, but he will rotate away for the time being. I don't think he saw his head there as Disciple does go down. So GRT trying to trade out Did pistols. And Vez does go down over towards the uh, A-bomb site, and yep, GRT is now known. Gets spotted out. That's going to be a one versus one battle in the A-halls until that number nine man rotates over. So GRT going to be in trouble here as he tries to peek out. Doesn't matter. XP3 wins the exchange. Either way, that's two for XP3, and Elevate is up seven to one now. Yeah, they have a pretty dominant T-side going on right now here on Mirage, a map that typically can be CT-leaning or usually is CT-leaning, but there's definitely a lot of opportunities for terrorists as well. It's not crazy CT-biased, and uh, Elevate the, it's definitely still kind of overperforming. Ace needs to be getting more rounds here on the CT side, and uh, once again, they're on a tight buy here. Just a FAMAS on one of their players. Disciple, no armor, uh, and you can see they're bought down to $0 on many of their players, so probably going to have to save next round if this doesn't work out, so... They're definitely in a really, really tough spot here. Ooh. Professor Chaos able to pick up Disciple early into this round. And uh, it's looking kind of rough here for Ace Gaming, but so did first half of Dust 2. And they were still able to battle their way back. They could pick up some good rounds here. It would help them out a ton, even though this is a, a lot more CT sided. So we should expect them to pick up a majority of the rounds. And Roka gets caught out in the open a little bit there. One player on Catwalk, one player back behind the bench. As Vez will get one also. Here comes Aki trying to work his way up. Professor Chaos on, Professor Chaos on the trade out. But GRT is there. What a good spray from Professor Chaos. Able to hit some shots. Uh, it was a dink, but it was through material, so he didn't get all the damage off. That's good. GRT eventually takes him down anyway, so now XP3. 1v2, 1 in the connector, 1 in CT spawn. Avoids the flashbang, and GRT just blinds Pex completely. So XP3's got 1 CT above him. Pex looks down, hits the shot. That's two rounds now for Ace Gaming. Yeah, and that's uh, that's big for Ace to win that round because their economy was so tight. But as you can see, they have to do a lot of rebuying here. So their money is still very, very uh, unstable right now. In fact, taking a loss this round would be devastating. Uh, you know, in fact, if they lose this round, that could be like double save territory. So they they are in a tough spot right now. Uh, we'll see. Elevate does have the five AKs once you can go for that strong mid control. Uh, last round they tried to use it to get up connector to A, but just got busted and Roke obviously trying to put a little bit of a fake at B just wasn't able to apply enough pressure and uh, Elevate though just going for a really strong just B split off this mid control this time. They're taking no hesitation. They're just going right up the cat through all these smokes and everything. 10 underway here. Elevate trying to bum rush their way into this B bomb site. They have two players there defending, and Max Aki with the op in his hands, able to pick up two. Pex is able to pick up a few also. Max Aki will close it down, turn him back towards Kitchen. Hits the shot onto XP3. That's two rounds in a row now for Ace Gaming, making the score 7 to 3. Elevate up. Yeah, once again, just Ace able, you know, even though Elevate's taking mid control, they're having a hard time taking the sites afterwards. I mean, we've seen them try to go up connector to A a few times, and they've gotten shut down in that round. 
They had a pretty favorable push into the B-bomb side up Cat, but the rotation came in there. Mizaki with the op. Pex also doing a great job with the rifle. And, you know, while Ace may be giving up mid and having issues on that front, they're, they've been able to hold down these sites the last few, turn, for the last few rounds. So they're definitely starting to pick things up here on the CT side. Ooh, XP3 does take down Pex. Able to get himself a secondary one out in mid. Looking well here. Wow. And he picks up Baksaki. 3k Insane. for an XP3 to open it up out in mid. And he's looking, uh, he's been looking pretty good with the op in his hand so far tonight. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a no-brainer that if you're ace game, you can't let stuff like that happen to you where you just let one opper obliterate three of your players for all being caught giving him 1v1 duels while he has an op at the back of mid. I mean, you just can't win that way. Uh, just a little bit of a mistake there, not not playing together at mid to, to try to trade XP3 out. And he just, yeah, like you said, he's he's been aiming well with it. I mean, he hit, he hit that last shot was definitely a very nice reaction shot he hit. Uh, so yeah, Elevate, take this round, no problem. That's gonna put Elevate up 8-3 to three over Ace Gaming, so they've officially won the half here. Well, now we get into the situation where how many rounds can they pick up on T-side? Eight already is absolutely wonderful for yourselves, as you will be switching to the, uh, easier side of things once the half ends. But, uh, still a little questioning their play from, uh, game number one. Uvez right here. Does he look in time? Not quite in time, so he won't be able to save the rifle. Roka takes him down in the ladder room, and then it's eight to three. Yeah, Elevate, like I said, have a have a big lead here. They've already won the half. Ace gaming in kind of a tough spot. They have one player with a lot of money, and he's gonna be able to drop it here. Uh, but still kind of a broken buy, but I understand here they they want to start challenging Elevate as quickly as possible, but Definitely saving next round if they lose this one. So Elevate, this, this round kind of worth two for Elevate. Uh, so this is definitely a very, very important round for Ace Gaming to come away with if they want to stay in this half. Here we back onto an extremely broken buy here, trying to make something happen. Max Hockey will open things up. On to Storm, though, as Roka is able to hit a shot over at B. So Roka working B effectively so far. Takes down Disciple. Pex is going to be there trying to defend by himself as the split is coming up towards Catwalk. XP3 again with another great op shot. Roka gets spotted as he drops down to White Van. Pex is in the sight. Aki turns around, takes him down easily. But Vez is there from the kitchen to get himself one of those frags. Trying to go for another one. XP3 almost just gets lit right there. Low on HP. Roka right around the corner from the kitchen. Will the flashbang come in so he can go for the peek? He's just waiting in that corner, doesn't want to allow that gun to stick out, steps out, takes down Vez, and there goes GRT, that's a 2k for Roka, one for Professor Chaos, XP3 and Aggies both hit one of their own, that makes it 9-3 to three in favor of Elevate. Yeah, once again, this Elevate's so persistent on this mid control, there's only been one round out of the 12 where they've strayed away from that with the heavy A execute, so they've just been able to take it, XP3's op has been on point, I mean he is top fragging 13-6 and six right now. Uh, obviously, Roka Professor Chaos also doing great work. Professor Chaos has been instrumental in coming up that underpass and helping open up the mid from there uh, and using that to get control to execute sites. And now it's a save round for Ace Gaming and Elevate just plowing through the A mom site off of this. And uh, they should have it here 10 to 3. That's Mizaki just ninjas the crap out of this. Oh, does he step out in time? Steps out, takes out Professor Chaos. Can he get the bomb? The bomb does get planted. Pulls the AK down, trying to hit the shot. He's going to try and get onto the bomb. Akis is right there around the corner. Akis making a spray attempt happen. So it's going to be a two versus one. They know where Akis is now. Maxaki will fake it once again. Looks to try and find the face. Maxaki can't hit it. Akis steps out. Able to wow. get both of those shots. Taking down Maxaki and Pax. That's a 10 to 3 scoreline in favor of Elevate. I feel that's a situation where if you're Mizaki, you just need to stick that and trust Pax to, to help you out there or something. Um... He just kept going for the engagement, and he just never could hit the shot there. And I mean, he made it otherwise a pretty brilliant play, the way he ninja'd it. Uh, and getting, he went for the balcony player first rather than the bomb player. That was smart. Then he gets the bomb planner. So that, that was a big two kills from Mizaki to at least give Ace a chance around. They had no business winning, but there at the very end, I feel like he just kind of overcommitted to trying to go for that last kill. Should have trusted the smoke and trusted Pex and didn't do it. And, but Ace, though, getting very aggressive at upper B this time, but so far an equal trade that the bomb is down and kind of a tough spot. So XP3 with the op in his hands, looking at the back of the halls. Does Pex peek out a little too wide here and get hit? Doesn't look like he wants to go for it. It's going to be a four on four now. 
As a, oh, GRT might put himself into a great position here, but the T's are acting like they know somebody's there. They are all looking in that direction. Storm will be the first one to see anything. Can't make the shot as GRT will collect Ackies. And XP3 waiting. Takes down Disciple. Pex will go on to the peak. And Pex had a perfect open shot. Doesn't take it, though. So it's going to be a three-on-three three now. They know there's a CT real close to that bomb, so they have to wait for that smoke to dissipate. Throw one down of their own. Pex might get a little too aggressive here. He's going to try and jump over the top, possibly. See if he can see anything. XP3 runs up, grabs the bomb, will exit out of the B-Halls with his team and rotate back towards the A bomb site. Yeah, so able to able to play back. XP3 is playing really patient. You saw Ace kind of jump the gun a little bit a couple times to peek into his op and give him another kill and able to smoke their way and, and grab the bomb back. But, I mean, Ace is aware of this, and they're in good position still. They have a good crosshair fire going on here at the A bomb site, so not all hope is lost. They still actually have a decent chance to fill this away. Ooh, Vez is going to be right there. GRT is able to pick up one, and Pex comes in for the cleanup. Able to hit Storm and Professor Chaos. Give themselves a fourth round as we hit the final round of the half. Elevate will be up 10-4, to 4, and this might be a complete mirror image of what we saw on map number one. Yeah, definitely. Uh, it was a situation last map on Dust2 or Elevate from the TSA. I was able to get an 11-4 to 4 lead, so it could, you know, wind up being the exact same case. Yeah, absolutely. So Elevate here going to be onto a buy. I'll be a little bit broken. Professor Chaos not having an AK in his hands. He's actually going to be working through underpass again. We see him there almost every round working towards connector. It is going to be smoked down. Now he's got to focus on looking up towards catwalk. But that nade should touch down with some pretty decent effect on the Disciple. It's actually going to be a 46 damage. Oh, but it doesn't matter. Hackies takes him down. That's going to be an opener in favor of Elevate as they're going to be up 5-4 to four now, executing into the B-bombs. Like Pex will be there defending. The number one man of Vez will be on the rotate into the kitchen. They haven't found Pex yet. Now they know somebody's there for sure. They're going to be looking for him. Vez comes and takes up Professor Chaos. Pex battling it out. Vez will hit two before he finally goes down. That's going to be Max Aki and GRT versus HP3 and Roka on the retake attempt here at the B-bomb site once this bomb gets planted. Yeah, we'll see if this can work as they are smoked off right now and they are just going to have to wait it out. They're actually trying to boost over and look over the smoke and try to find something, but not going to happen. Roka wheeling his way around underneath the window here. We'll find one. Will he find the next one? No, Mizaki grabs it. So it's a 1v1, man. XP3 is playing from the market, waiting for Mizaki to cross. The cross happens. Mizaki gets into the site. He's just going to tap the bomb. XP3 forced to come out and somehow still gets that frag. I guess he's only partially blind. But either way, it's 11 to 4 again from the T side in the first half of Elevate. Just like I said, man, I, I, Ace didn't really have an answer for the mid control. There's a few times where they were able to hold off the side execute afterwards, but many times they couldn't, and uh, Elevate wins it. Yeah, so mirror image of what we saw half number one on Dust 2, 11 to 4 in favor of Elevate. The big question here is is Ace Gaming going to come back like they did? On, uh, on Dust2 here, but they're going to be doing it from a much harder side of things as uh, Dust2 a lot more equal, a lot easier to get rounds on the unfavored side. But Elevate was looking good there towards the end. Same with Ace Gaming, but Elevate is now on to the easier side, CT side. So this will be a big pistol round here for Ace Gaming. Yeah, I mean, this is definitely a lot more of a CT bias math than Dust2 was. So I feel like Elevate should have a little bit easier time closing out the game from the CT side as opposed to the situation they found themselves in on Dust2. Um, but time will tell. I mean, this pistol could mean a lot. They, they drop the pistol, Ace is back in the game. They win the pistol, they probably pretty much put this game out of reach for Ace Gaming. Unless Ace Gaming is able to come up with a extremely large um, uh, eco round if they can't win this pistol, but I don't know if that's in the cards for them. We'll have to see what's going to happen here, as it's going to be first round of second half. Pistols are up. Ace Gaming was able to take the first, or both of the pistols on uh, on Dust 2. Elevate so far has the first one on uh, this map. Execute's going to be coming around. That's going to be Vez able to take down XP3. There goes Roka. So Ace Gaming looking close here. Professor Chaos might go down. Able to take down Max Aki as Aki's goes down. Storm's going to step in, try and battle it out. It will take down Vez. So it's going to be a two versus three now in favor of of Ace Gaming as they have that bomb planted in the A-bomb site. Touchdown grenade removes Disciple, but GRT is right there in the connector. Storm's looking for him. Storm's going on the hunt. Can he get it? Yes, he will. So now it's going to be Storm versus Pex. Pex alive. And 99 HP. Smoke goes down. Storm's going to get on the bomb, but he's getting circled around on. He's going to stick it in. Pex will take him down. Gets himself three, and Ace Gaming will pick up that pistol round. Indeed, they will. So, I mean, that's them 
came with that, so definitely well done. So now entering round 17 here. Ace Gaming's got to hold on. Lost camera operator. It's all right though. So now, ooh, what is what is happening? What do we what do we got going on here? Why is my camera freaking out? Doesn't matter. We're all right for the time being, as Elevate's going to be on to the Eco here against uh, Ace Gaming. So, CT side Eco a little bit easier to make happen, and Ace Gaming's just going to try and force their way in to this B bomb site right now. Pex is right there around the corner from Storm. They take him down. XB3 jumps through the kitchen window. He gets punished by Pex. Maxaki actually hits Storm. GRT getting one of his own. That leaves Roka and Aki's alive here on the rotate towards the B bomb site. And they're not going for it. They just want some exits. Yeah, I mean, they're trying to see if they can't get some guns and they realize that the round is lost. And so, like I said, Ace, after winning that pistol, avoiding this anti-eco, they're starting to creep back into the game again. Like I said, very, very reminiscent of what we saw on Dust 2 just not too long ago. Roka right there almost gets taken out, but GRT will remove Aki, so he's just going to hide down in underpass and hope that he doesn't get spotted, but he will. He does take down Fez, but he's got players right above him as he comes up, and Disciple will end up hitting the shot from above. That will make it 6-11 to in favor of Elevate, but Ace Gaming on the battle back once again. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're going to win this round too, most likely, as Elevate have pretty much no investment into it. Um... So it will be, probably be 7 to 11, like I said, just like D2, but it's going to come down to those gun rounds. Can Elevate go ahead and start putting this away when the guns are out? Uh, or does Ace have something up their sleeve, you know, tactically on the T side of this map on the gun rounds to keep the comeback dream alive? I mean, what... So I'm getting into the comeback attempt here from Ace Gaming. They're on the pain train, the money train right now, out into the B-bomb site. No one is going to be there from Elevate. It's actually a five-man stack. All the way over, but they've already worked their way back into mid. Four men are there. One's going to be working through A. Vez will take down Professor Chaos as he works up Catwalk. Storm is there on Catwalk also for the trade-out frag. So they're looking uh, decent at the moment. They would like to try and grab some guns or drop as many as possible, especially at the AK in the hands of Pex. But he's going to be the Catwalk player. Step out comes from Hackies, but there's another one. Storm is on the Catwalk. They both get punished, so now it's all up to Roka trying to hunt to see if he can get a gun. But I don't think anybody will execute or uh, exit that bomb site in his direction, so he's probably not going to have any luck here. And Ace Gaming will turn this into a 7-11 game. Yeah, looks like Mizaki might actually run into Roka here. But, uh... Oh! <laughs> um... Wow, that was really weird and awkward. I guess Roka didn't actually hear that. <laughs> that was kind of funny. Either way, we do have a 7-11 score here. Still in favor of Elevate, but Ace is starting to make that comeback effort, but now the gun rounds are back, and... Here's where we'll see if Elevate can just put together a solid defense and start working to close out this game, or is the comeback effort going to be big again out of Ace? So now into round 19. Elevate trying to come back, not allow Ace Gaming to get any more rounds in their favor, prevent the comeback from happening here. So it's going to be gun up on both teams. GRT already taking a bunch of damage down to 50 HP right off the bat. It's not looking good for him. But uh, he's still going to be out in mid, so XP3 not having an op in his hands here. It's going to be rifles up all the way across the board in the hands of Elevate, as Max Aki has an op in his hands, though. Hasn't found a target just quite yet. Oh, Professor Chaos and Roka both take a grip of damage there. They're still holding on, and Ace Gaming working slow here. This was the play that they were using, essentially, on Dust2, just sitting back deep, waiting for Elevate to get a little too aggressive. That won them quite a few rounds on Dust2. Yeah, but Elevate not going to do it this time. I mean, they're just playing their spots. XP3 patrolling the mid, you know, playing that way in the room. Presser Chaos the Connector. Roka anchoring the A-bomb site. You got Storm and Akis over at B, and they're just waiting it out. You know, just waiting for something. They don't have any information, so they can't really start rotating. But, oh my goodness, Roka trying to spam Mizaki. Misses out, and that was a crazy little no-scope there through the, the balcony flooring uh, over there. GRT will take down XP3, so Ace Gaming looking good into these gun rounds. This slow play coming from them, waiting for Elevate to get a little too aggressive is paying off. They're able to make their way into the B bomb site right now. Pex will take down Storm. So it's going to be a four versus two now. Bomb's going to get planted. Aki's going to be on the rotate. He's already up the catwalk looking for Pex. Pex will take his head off. Now it's all up to Professor Chaos out in mid. He doesn't want to go for this. He just wants to hunt for an exit frag or two. And uh, that's going to make it 8 to 11 in favor of Elevate as Ace is on the climb back. Like I said, man, it's looking like Dust 2 all over again. Just Elevate coming out with a big lead from the T side of a map that 
typically does favor CTs, and they, uh, they're they having a little bit of trouble here closing out the game, but it's still pretty early. We'll see if they can't come back up with something next time they get guns out. Oh, Professor Chaos, does he look up in time? And Vez is going to be hunting for him, but he's playing the angles. Can he stay alive? And he will. Able to keep his rifle and live to fight another day with it. As Elevate not looking like they have enough cash here to get a real good buy out of this. And uh, we are honestly looking like we're going to have an exact matchup of what we had on Dust 2 here. With Ace Gaming being able to battle back. If they can keep this rolling, keep this going onto this eco round and not allow that rifle in the hands of Professor Chaos to pay some dividends. They're going to get a little bit closer each round. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, Elevate doesn't have much to work with here. You see them just kind of playing really aggressive, playing for information. They've already kind of pressed a little bit over at A. They didn't spot anything, so they're rotating pretty much everyone over to B except for one player. So we'll see if this pays off. If this quick rotation will actually help them defend against this. So far, they've gotten one kill on the bomb down. Storm's got himself an op in his hands, and Professor Chaos is able to pick up two here. So XP3 with two, Professor Chaos with two. Op and rifles in the hands of Elevate now. It's all up to Vez. Bomb down. Not in a good spot for him. Ooh, Storm actually misses that shot. So Storm with the op trying to battle it out. But they know where Vez is, so Vez is going to get aggressive. Step out. Professor Chaos takes him down. That's a 3K for Professor Chaos. So the exact thing, the exact thing I said Ace Gaming doesn't want to have happen there happened. Professor Chaos saved rifle, paid dividends. Elevate will go up 12 to 8 now over Ace Gaming. Yeah, that was big. I mean, Elevate winning the eco round there. Like I said, just playing really hyper-aggressive, just rotating early, gambling, hoping for the best, and it worked out. I mean, they rotated B very, very quickly, and that's where the hit came, and they were able to hold it off. Professor Chaos's rifle, the one rifle they had in perfect position to make a play, and even saw Storm with his pistol able to grab a kill from the van, so well done. But we do see Mizaki able to catch Professor Chaos being a little bit aggressive there on the connector, so he does get an opening pick. And uh, we'll see how this goes, though. So Ace has opened it up with at least a 5 on 4. So Pex will open that up. And uh, Max Hockey gets one of his own also. So that should be XP3 and Professor Chaos both out of the way. And uh, Ace Gaming trying to not allow Elevate to string rounds together now. And that would hurt them quite a bit as you take a peek at their economy. Eh, not too horrible, but... So that could be the greatest from CT side of things here as Ace Gaming is... Both pretty broke, so I believe either team here, whoever's going to lose this, is going to be pretty much into a broken buy or a save out of it. So Elevate would definitely like to hold on to their lead here and not allow Ace Gaming to get within three rounds. Yeah, absolutely. Um, as we are going to see, you know, if Akis and Storm and Roka can still find a way to win this, it's a 3v5. They're going to be very difficult. Akis from Cat being aggressive spots them going at the connector, but can't find the kill. Not even doing very much damage yet. So he's really been minimized, and Mizaki takes him out. And so this is the A bomb site. Roka going to have to come absolutely huge by himself if he wants to win this round, but it's going to have to be an ace clutch. And he's just, Oof. yeah, there's no way to do it from that spot. So it will be ace coming right back at Elevate with the round victory to make it. A score of now 9 to 12. Yeah, looking good here as Ace Gaming is able to battle back. They're going to, if they hold on here and continue to, if they win these next three rounds against Elevate, that will make it the exact score, 12 to 12, that they tied it up on just two. Let's hope if they can do that, though, they're able to keep pushing forward, eventually turn this into maybe a win for them. They would love to take a map off here and get themselves a tie. Roka almost goes down to Pex, actually, at A ramp. Uh, just barely survived that. And Professor Chaos on a very broken buy. He actually gets taken down and punished for it as Max Aki hits an op shot, but he's getting pushed here. He's gonna know it. He hears some noise. He's gotta look for that man that's real close to him. And actually, he drops off. That was XP3. Real aggressive towards the apartments, and Disciple ends up taking him down. So now only one man alive in the A bomb site. That's Roka. Very weak underneath the balcony. And Molotov's gonna get a little close to him, but it's not gonna burn him down, so he can stay alive from this position. And I wonder if they're gonna think that they're gonna be okay, oh, but he will not again. survive that one, though. Maxaki takes him down. That is gonna make it a five versus two as Storm and Aggies will go on to the save. Yeah, they wouldn't have thrown that second Molotov. There was actually still a chance because that first one may have made him think that it was clear, in which case Roger could have maybe ninjaed out a frag or, or two and maybe turn that round uh, back in his favor, but that second one came in and got him. and. Also, the opening picks from Mizaki were huge with the op, and yeah, this is another round going to Ace. They're going to make it 10 to 12. So if they keep going in this direction, uh, that could tie this up at 12 to 12 once again, and this would be an identical mirror of what we were seeing from map number two, except for the place that the round got one in. Doesn't matter. Pex will take down Storm. No save for him. 
That will make it 10 to 12 in favor of Elevate. Yeah, this is uh, this is pretty crazy to see. Once again, Elevate struggling to close out a game here on the CT side after having a big lead from the first half. And I mean, on Dust 2, it's a little bit more understanding because it is a bit more balanced. But here on Mirage, especially against Ace Gaming, you would think they'd be able to just to finish this off. But they're, they're struggling and they're on save this round. So Ace, really good opportunity to get it to 11. Into round 23 now. Ace Gaming trying to grab that 11th round, but Professor Chaos doing what he can here. They're going to be on a large eco, so they should send that pistol up first. That's going to be Aki's. Professor Chaos will be there uh, to try and trade this frag out with the AK, and he will be able to trade that out. Going for a third frag. Can he take down GRT? Not able to make that happen as uh, XP3 actually rotates and trades out the AK. Gets one of his own now. That's going to make it a three on two here as we only have Max Aki and Disciple alive. And Max Aki actually rotates his way in. Roka's looking for him. He's hiding at the A bomb site. Max Aki spots him. Trying to go for some shots here. Pulls out the op. Able to take him down. That's going to be XP3 and Storm with AKs in their hand. And do they go for this? Bomb has not been planted yet. So they can get aggressive and try and make something happen. XP3 is committed to it all the way up into the jungle. They know one should be down towards CT. One should be moving his way towards the A ramp at the moment. XP3 almost hits the shot on the Max Aki. So they have one isolated towards CT. There should be one towards the ramp. They have a feeling. They know it now. They see Disciple. They just got to hunt and take down Max Aki to get on top of this bomb. Max Aki very weak here. Disciple does take down XP3. So Storm's going to go on the hunt. Will he get Max Aki? Sees him shoulder peek out. Now he's just got to wait. Can he hit the shot? Not able to make it happen. And Max Aki will clean that round up. That makes it 11 to 12. Elevate is only up by one round now. Yeah, I mean, that round was kind of close, though. I mean, I didn't think Elevate even stood a chance that round with them being on a save and all, but it came down to a close two versus two, so they were close, but they need to find this gun round. I mean, they need to get something going. I haven't seen them really win. I think I've only seen them win one round this half, right? So it's definitely been really, really tough on them to, to figure something out here on the defense. And uh, Mizaki, I have to say, he's playing some of the best CS I've ever personally watched him play with the ops since he's been on a North American team. He's been hitting lots of shots here on this T side, so kind of a rare occurrence, but, I mean, he's making it matter this game for certain. So into round 24, is Hayes Gaming able to tie this up once again, make this an identical match of the first one, make it 12 to 12. Elevate's going to be onto the buyout here, committed into this round. Again, no op coming out from them. Take a peek at their economy. They are completely bought into this round here, and it's relatively broken. Uh, head armor not necessarily needed. They know they're going against quite a few AKs, so if they get tapped in the head, even with head armor, they're going to go down. So no reason to try and force the issue there. Not that anyone could have actually bought it anyways, but they got quite a bit of utility. Slight execute, actually a fake coming out towards the A-bomb site for the time being. Max Aki with a good seam right there. If there's a rotate back into that bomb site, he should be able to hit that. But he's going to be up on the balcony now, looking for XP3, misses the shot, drops down, goes. Roka's right there around the corner, misses him again, but Roka goes down and misses a third shot onto XP3. So now it's all up to Vez over there to sell this fake. And it wasn't sold the best as Storm is able to get a frag before he goes down. Still one CT there defending. That is actually going to be Aki's who goes down to GRT. They're going to get a bomb plant. It will be a two-on-two -two in the B bomb site. Here comes Professor Chaos, though. Already worked his way up. Gets the first shot, so now Disciple steps out. He's got a date in his hand. He's got to stay alive. Can't wow. do it. And the repeat from game number one will not happen. Elevate makes it 13 to 11. Yeah, I mean, that round, like you said, Ace trying to sell a fake over there to the A side of the map. They had Mizaki and Vez there, but they weren't able to apply enough pressure. You know, yeah, they got one pick, but XP3 gets two, and then realizes that nothing else is going on over there on that side. And so... You know, the B anchor never left, and the one guy that was rotating off B quickly kind of turned right back around after XP3 called, hey, that's it here. And so they were able to still, you know, hold off that take on the B side of the map. So well done from Elevate. Finally starting to see if they can't close out this series here. Ace still has plenty of money to put together to buy this round. Uh, maybe next round they might be thinking about saving, but, but otherwise, you know, this is still them in the game. You know, especially if they can get a round win here. Ace still trying to battle back. They are able to put some guns into their hands. XP3 out in the mid window. Almost just gets cleaved right there by Pex. Actually, the mid player, that's going to be Professor Chaos going on the hunt to take that frag down. He does get traded out and punished for it. It's going to turn into now a three versus two as Aki's able to hit the shot onto Max Aki. Vez will go on the trade out, so now it's all up to Roka. He's going to be 1v3 at the moment. They have control of the B bomb site. Roka's looking in that direction. Vez is going to be looking right into that window if Roka peeks out a little too wide. 
And Bomb still hasn't decided. They have control of both bomb sites, and Roka hasn't been spotted just quite yet. That bomb is still going to be rotating towards B at the moment. They're going to send the A player out, and Roka still trying to figure out where the bomb is. Doesn't know yet, as GRT hasn't truly decided where he's going, but Roka works his way into the site. Plays ring around the rosy at the moment with Vez. Turns his back to him, and Vez will collect the frag. That will make it 13-12, to 12, and Ace Gaming is still in this. Yeah, I mean, that was a crazy round victory there from Ace Gaming. It kind of got a little bit crazy there in that one versus three. Saw Roka ninjing himself into the site there, and if he just would have checked his right side, maybe that, that plays out differently as Ace was definitely very hesitant on where to bring the bomb in that situation, but they figured it out, and now we have ourselves uh, a really, really close game. Yet again, just as we did on Dust 2, as we are going to see Ace you know, gearing up outside of A ramp, uh, maybe for some type of heavy A hit this time, and Mizaki leading the charge with the pick, but Elevate is on the save, and they're struggling here. Professor Chaos does pick up one on the Max Hockey, though, so he's going to get a gun into his hands. Can he stay alive, though? Down low on HP, completely blind, has to back out. Vez will take him down, and there goes Storm. So now it's all up to Hackies on the rotate here with the P250 in his hands. No armor, no utility, no nothing besides that P250. So he's going to want to try and get himself a frag, try and steal a gun. If he's able to, save it into the next round. Pex will be the first one out. Can he hit the shots? Not able to, and Pex cleans him up. That's a 2K for Disciple, one for Pex, Max Hockey, and Vez. That ties the game at 13-13, to and Elevate struggling on CT side here. Yeah, I mean, they really are. Uh, this has happened to them on Dust 2. They were struggling to close out the game, and on this game, it's it's a very similar story, uh, except this time it's even worse. Uh, they eventually did close it out on Dust 2, and now on this map, I'm not so sure. Uh, I think there's definitely a very real possibility that Ace just continues to win out here based on how they're playing, and, and the fact that Elevate hasn't really seemed to have a response. I mean, Mizaki is literally just finding picks anywhere he goes with that op, and they're not able to really trade him efficiently, and... Now, Roka does get very aggressive on mid this round, so this is a little bit of a change up. They haven't really done this before, so maybe this catches Ace off guard. We'll just have to see how this plays out. They have a lot of people heading Roka's way. Oh, I love his positioning here, let's see. But they are banking on somebody being a little aggressive. You can see by the nade and the Molotov, and they're going to check this corner. Vez is all over it, and yeah, they're going to spot him out and take him down. So they checked the corner. They were expecting the aggressive play that time. And uh, they end up taking him down, so Max Aki and Pex both pick up frags. Aki's does trade one out on to Max Aki. That's going to make it a two versus four now. And Aki's going to be right there at the connector. Storm is going to be there also. They're going to be hunting towards the window. Oh, Storm takes a little bit of team damage. And if he gets too close, he will get taken down, and Pex removes him from the round. So if Ace Gaming can pick up this final frag or get this bomb plant on Aki's, that is going to be Ace Gaming's first lead that they've been able to have here. And Pex, does he go down? Yes, he will, but quickly Disciple trades out the frag. And that is going to be 14-13 to 13 in favor of Ace Gaming. And they might be able to beat Elevate here as it's going to be a save coming from Elevate. Yeah, I mean, they don't really have much to buy here to, to contend against Ace while they go for a map point. So, yeah, dude, I mean, I think you're right. I think Ace is actually going to win this game. I mean, yeah, they'll elevate can definitely buy up next round to contend for the W, but Ace is definitely getting that point here, I think, unless some crazy eco happens. Yeah, definitely. I, I think uh, I think Ace Gaming is going to grab their 15th round right now. And, uh, man, elevate in a tough, tough battle tonight against Ace Gaming. Ace Gaming looking pretty good so far. I mean, they've been able to turn things around quite a bit here on map number one they did. On this map, they've been able to do it. I mean, after a relatively abysmal first half on both sides... Or, or both maps, uh, they've turned it around and brought these games close. I mean, closer so far to on this map than they did earlier. And we actually have trades going out. That's going to be Pex who goes down to XP3. And then we're going to have Disciple able to take down Roka. So it will be a four-on-four -four battle, but guns in the hands of the Ace Gaming players. Yeah, I mean, they, they do have a four-on-four -four situation. It's Dusty for Terrace. As you said, they're the ones who have guns in their hands. It's Elevate who's playing from behind. Watch just the pistols here. As Mizaki working this op up the catwalk, XP3 inside the site here. Will he step out far enough? He will. There is the one cat, but Mizaki is going to kind of bypass that here, and it looks like Ace should be able to put this round away now. Oh, that's going to be Disciple. He's able to pick up a frag, and Professor Chaos trying to battle it out from underneath the balcony. Can't get anyone down, but takes Vez down to 2 HP, so now it's all up to Aki's. Rotating his way through CT at the moment. Disciple's going to be right there at the toll booth. Blackbank comes out, Disciple steps out, hits the shot, and that's a 3k for Disciple. Ace Gaming gets match point now, so all the pressure is on to Elevate. 
It really is, and I mean, they're going to be able to put together a pretty solid buy here. I mean, I see a couple of M4s already out. I know there's enough money on Storm XP3 to do something similar here. It's really just going to be Professor Chaos, who's on a on a FAMAS. That's really the only issue. XP3, obviously, class cannon here with the op, which is a little bit of a problem. But, yeah, I mean, I think Ace Gaming actually has a really good chance to win. Only the second map they've ever won in our league out of, like, 24 maps played. So, it's uh, kind of a rare occurrence, but it may happen here. So Elevate now, got to be into round 29. If they're able to win this, we're going to the final round of regulation to find out if we're going to have a tie or Ace Gaming is going to be able to win this. Elevate desperately needs to win these next two rounds to force that overtime. They want to walk away with a 2-0 tonight and uh, not get stunned here by Ace Gaming and uh, be one of the only teams to actually lose a map to Ace Gaming so far in the season. But Ace Gaming still trying to hold on. Max Aki's got the op in his hands. He's already worked his way deep into the B Hall. He's going to be completely blind there. Does the peek come out from that player? That is going to be Aki's who does make the peek. Take down Max Aki. That's going to make it a 5-3. to three. Bomb still kind of back neutral location towards T-Spawn at the moment. As GRT gets taken down by Roka. So elevate with a lot of life here into this round. 5v2 now. They might force us to the final round of regulation. They might do so. I mean, yeah, it's, it's been Ace kind of falling apart here, trying to force the issue to for B with Mizaki with that op, but this time he's going to pay for it. Uh, Hex trying to see if he can make a mirror clap and run through the smoke, but this runs been some poor fire at the van, but he does get the kill. But he's going to get clumped by Ace, he's been playing that cat position and dealing out a couple of frags. It's all up to Vez, 1v4. He's got the bomb, he's in the A bomb site. He's get one, but there's some chaos right there to trade, and yeah, it's going to go down to the wire here. They're going down to the final round. Both teams will be fully bought out still. So, yeah, this is it. Are we going to go to overtime, or is this going to be a 16-14 win for Ace? It's going to be close here. Ace does have enough money to get a full buyout for their entire team. Elevate going to buy out into it what they can. No reason to waste money on head armor for some of their players as they don't have the cash. They want a lot of utility here. They are going against AKs, as I said earlier. That one tap, and it's over with from that AK. So, Elevate desperately needs to hold on here to force the overtime. They want to walk away with the 2-0 victory tonight and get two points going for them. But with the three losses, they are essentially mathematically out of it. But they do not want to lose to Ace Gaming. They don't want to allow Ace Gaming to take a map off them at all. Elevate wants to try and get a win for themselves. Yeah, I mean, while they're not in the playoff hunt, it's still for pride. Uh, it's also still for rebuilding this team. They've already made one roster change with Professor Chaos coming on board. I'm not sure what else is going on, but... You know, they're, they're still trying to, you know, prepare for, for future events. And, yeah, they would love to avoid kind of getting upset in a huge way by Ace. Where, where, I mean, they were a heavy, heavy favorite in this game. So now we're going to have Pex trying to work his way out. He's looking for XP3, able to hit the shot here. Will Ace Gaming be able to close this out in round 30 of regulation? Professor Chaos drops the flashbang, able to escape, doing a ton of damage. That's going to be actually Aki doing that. It's going to be a four versus three. Now Professor Chaos steps up, gets two. It looks like we're going to overtime unless Vez and GRT can make something happen here. Time ticking down. They have to commit to the A bomb site at the moment. One of them is going to work out. There's going to be Roka right there in the sandwich, and he's going to look up. No, he's looking low, so Vez might be able to take him down, and Vez will take him down. GRT drops in. They're going to go on the rotate here. Can Professor Chaos pick up Vez? He's so low on HP. Time ticking down. They have to get this bomb across. GRT trying to drop them all. Job. There goes Storm, and we are going to go to overtime unless GRT can hero this round with only five seconds left here. He will get the bomb planted. Professor Chaos is going to come in on his shoulder, and Professor Chaos wow. will hit the shot. They get the defuse. Elevate ties it up, and we are going to overtime. Yeah, what a silly game. <laughs> I mean, it's just been kind of crazy here in the second half. We're going to go to overtime to, to finalize this. So, yeah, I guess stay tuned. As it's going to be an OT. This is TV. I'm misled. I'm with Dust Moret. We are bringing you overtime on map number two between Ace Gaming and Elevate. Map number one was a close battle there, but Ace Gaming didn't bring it back in time. Elevate ended up winning that one 16-13. Elevate now had the battle back for the overtime here, so we're into the first round of overtime. And uh, Ace Gaming is the stay or your T-sided team. Elevate will stay as your CT-sided team, at least for the first three rounds that we switch. So the magic number here is the first team to get four rounds in their favor, which will make the score four, or excuse me, 19. Look at which team can get 19 rounds. That will be the winner. Otherwise, if we tie at 18 apiece, that means we are going to overtime set number two. Same thing will happen over again. And elevate heavy mid presence into this round. Able to take down one. Roka got the shot off there. But they're going to have to play a five man retake on the A bomb site as smoke's yeah. came out from Ace Gaming. 
That's one of the gamble you take when you go for that heavy mid control. It's yeah, maybe you get a pick, but then you completely forfeit a site, and now you have to play a retake. And they do have a man advantage to play retake blitz. So that's definitely very beneficial. We'll just have to see if they can actually make it work here. I mean, the momentum is on elevate side. They did win those last few rounds on CP side to push it to this point, and we'll see who they followed up. But oh my goodness, the cycle lined up a couple of nice frags there, and Ooh, it's XP3. all up to XP3. Yeah, I mean it's a crazy one v one, but no time to defuse the hey, bomb. I don't it. think. I don't think he's got time. Yeah, he does. That's the only... Nope. Oh, I thought he had that within a second. Oh, goodness. Didn't nice. have it. Wow. Rough. But XP3 coming up huge for his team that round. Yeah, he definitely had some nice frags there on that retake and uh, just didn't have time to defuse the bomb at the very end. So, that, as, like I said, that's just kind of one of the risks that you take when, when you, you put all your numbers out in bid like that is you just give up the A-bomb side completely. And, um, you know, Mizaki may, able to make that call to his team that's just waiting to hit A, and uh, they're able just to walk to a free A bomb site, put some nice smokes down, and kill a lot of clock with the bomb already planted. So, there you have it. So now, second round of overtime here. Ace Gaming picked up the first one. That's going to vote well for them, especially getting one on T side, because this usually comes down to a battle of which team is able to get T side rounds in overtime in their favor. And Ace Gaming went over the hill already, was able to get the first one in their favor. So now Elevate has to win both of these. But both teams had an exceptionally good T-side against a exceptionally weak CT-side from both of these teams. So maybe it's more or less who's going to be able to pick up one round as a counter-terrorist here. And Max Hockey's able to hit two. Well, that's going to be Anki's and Professor Chaos. Got the first one on top of the balcony. Drops down below. Able to hit the second one that way. Professor Chaos and Anki's out of the way. As Disciple gets Storm over at the B-bomb site. That's going to leave only two CTs alive here. Now they're forced into a question where do we try and go for this or do we save? Our money is looking not the greatest at the moment. We don't want to be saving in the final round of uh, overtime number one. XP3 does take down Vez, so it's going to turn into a two versus three here. They're not able to get any more shots. They go back onto the save, so they will save these rifles for the last round. And Ace Gaming, if they pick up all three of these, that's going to bode well for them. Yeah, I mean, Elevate trying to change things up here in overtime compared to regulation. Like, you never saw them get that aggressive at mid, you know, on the standard rounds. But here in OT, they're trying to change it up. But it just, they're like I said, they're committing so much resources to mid that their sights are left uh, a little bit at a handicap. And, and in both instances, Ace has been able to exploit that. And uh, even though Elevate kind of had a little bit of momentum coming from the regulation where they had won the last few rounds to force the OT, and they started finally getting their CT side going there at the end, here in overtime, you know, they, they're they struggling again. Um, you know, already two rounds won by Ace. Uh, and probably a third. Let's look how tight Elevate is on guns this round. Yeah, this is not looking good here for Elevate. Uh, if Ace Gaming gets all three rounds from T-Side, that's going to bode well for them. That means they only need one round as CTs. But as I said earlier, both teams have an absolutely abysmal CT side. So the exact role reversal of what I talked about earlier, which is which team can pick up T-side rounds, it's switched here. Now it's which team can actually pick up a CT-sided round. Because they both did way better as terrorists. And uh, Ace Gaming showcasing that right now with a 2-0 so far into overtime number one. All right, T.O., as we'll see if Elevate can at least find one round here on the CT-side. It would be pretty devastating if they couldn't. We are seeing Ace just bunch up here. At the back, a cat just slowly working their up mid XP3. Might have like a shooting gallery when he peeks out, but only able to get one. And here comes the cat push off the back of that. It's going to be up to Akis and Storm here to try to hold this B push off. Going to rotate in. That's going to be Akis hitting one with the pistol still. Storm is going to be back there. Storm with the rifle, able to get one, able to get himself two here. And Disciple finally falls to Storm. So Storm picking up a huge 3K for Elevate to keep them in this. So first half goes 2 1 in favor of Ace Gaming. So, as I said, whoever can pick up those CT side rounds, that's going to bode well for them. So now, Ace Gaming still two rounds away from winning in overtime number one. Elevate has to pick up all three of these rounds if they want to win. Indeed, they do. Uh, they have to win all these T rounds. As you said, they were able to do pretty well in regulation. I mean, they won the half 11 to 4 whenever they were on T side. So, I mean, we know that they can get T rounds going, but... Can they win all three? That's kind of the question there. Ace just looking for two rounds in the CT side to win here in the first overtime. Or we may see a second overtime. Who knows? Uh, we'll just have to we'll have to wait back and, and see. It's been pretty a pretty crazy game, to be honest, the way it's played out. Uh, so really, I'm, I don't know what to expect at this point. 
I just wish that Elevate would have stuck to what was working for him. I mean, they, they tried something risky those, those first two rounds of that overtime with the aggression mid. They didn't come out well at all. And then on the last round, they kind of went more standard and, and closed the round because of it. Kind of kind of makes you wonder if maybe they would have just played standard the whole way through if they would have had more success. So now we're going into the second half of overtime number one now. Elevate going to be down by one round here. If they're able to pick this up, tie this thing out, zero it out. Remember, guys, first team to 19 will win in overtime. And that's not going to do it for us tonight. After this is done and over with in overtime, or possibly overtimes, we're actually going to a secondary matchup of the night, which is going to be Tempo Storm versus Lunatic Esports, which again will be another best of two. So we are not done after this. Make sure you guys stay tuned for that one. Also, Akis does open it up, takes down Pex. So this is going to be, again, which team can pick up the most or one CT-sided round. Oh, right there, Max Aki trying to play that angle. He's in the smoke, gets peaked by Akis and taken down by the spray through the smoke. So Elevate looking to pick up a T-side round here and tie this up. And Bez does get spotted there, and Roka will easily take him down. So it's going to be a four versus one now. GRT, last man alive. He's going to go for the save of his rifle and try not allow himself or his team to get into an economical situation that we saw happen to Elevate. Only uh, one of their players had a rifle that last round. Yeah, absolutely. And, uh, I mean, Elevate, you know, making it happen here. They're going to tie this game back up at 17 all. And we're kind of talking about things. I'm just thinking about, you know, Elevate, while there's not much to play for playoff-wise, uh, it is kind of uh, relegation, right? Trying to make sure they can stay in the Pro League for next season. You know, you want to avoid those bottom positions. That way you automatically get passed on the pro next season rather than having to play the placement tournament. So at least that is on the line for Elevate. Same for Ace. So now we are all tied up here at 17 to 17. The Elevate just got that big round in their favor. And uh, we actually have two players now in the server over that 30 bomb. That's going to be Vez at 30. XP3 at 32. Maxaki is right there knocking on the door with 29 frags of his own. Still close in it is going to be Professor Chaos, just a little bit behind all of them. But if Elevate can strain together this round, that's going to tie things up and guarantee them at least overtime number two if Ace Gaming can't win out from here. Yeah, exactly. Uh, we'll just have to see how it pans out as uh, Elevate has been able to tie the game at 17 all. They do have, of course, all the equipment here. We do see Ace a little bit struggling. They do just have one Famas on Mizaki. Uh, but Enforce across for everyone else, but they lose this round all of a sudden. The last round of the OT, they're not going to have much to work with. So they, at that point, LA could just kind of walk away with it. So this is a very important round for Ace game. This is their best chance to at least ensure a second overtime when it comes to the type of guns they'll be able to work with. So into round five of overtime number one, Maxaki's going to hunt for that frag onto XP3. Somehow XP3 doesn't hear the running from behind as Storm will train out GRT, even things up at a four on four. They're going to pick the bomb up, try and work this towards the A bombs. They go for the split. Roka is able to take down Maxaki. And we have Aki's already into the window room right now, hunting for anybody trying to cross in his direction. One player will be defending that A site. Now two players actually. And Vez steps out, hits the first shot, goes for the second one, can't take down Roka. There goes Disciple. It's all up to Pex now, rotating through the connector. That player, Aki's, was going to be right there on the old E box where the stairs now out of the connector. Flashbang comes in, Pex avoids it narrowly. Can he take down Aki's? I don't really know where he is. They have an idea though. Yeah, they know that he's over there somewhere near those stairs. Gotta drop them all off down, try and cut off CT, and he's forced into a save. As let's see their economy, and same situation that Elevate was in here, where uh, only one player is going to be able to save a rifle, as the rest of their economy is completely broken. And Elevate will get that 18th round to over secure themselves over time number two at least. And Ace Gaming's going to have to do one on a very broken buy to fight and uh, grab overtime number two. Yeah, definitely. I mean, Elevate have a good chance to close this game out now, uh, just just because of the economic situation Ace faces. Like you said, very similar to what happened in the first half, but unfortunately, at this point, it's for the W rather than just for the yep. advantage. So it has a little bit more weight to it. And um, yeah, he's gaming just a couple of M4s, everyone else just on pistols. Heck, Garrett doesn't have anything. He's just sitting on a plain USP, no armor, no nothing. He finally grabs a FAMAS here at the very end, uh, but still no armor on him or Disciple. So that's definitely a little bit concerning. Oh, but the this aggression. Light work. It does. It does. He gets a pick, but he does get traded. And here comes the rest of the push up to Aram. Oh, oh hello. Yes. 
Wow, he makes that happen. And they're going to take down Roka. We might be going to overtime number two here as wow. only XP3 is left alive somehow. And they do it on a broken mind just like Elevate did. They want XP3 so bad and they get him. We are going to overtime number two. Ace Gaming versus Elevate. Yeah, I can't believe this is happening, to be honest. It's not even one of those fun games that go to double O Tron. This is just people failing the close. It's like so silly. Like the, the silly plays that happen to keep this thing going just makes you scratch your head, honestly. Um I never thought I would say that about an overtime game, but yeah, this one's just been kinda kinda funky, if that makes any sense. So now we are waiting for overtime number two to start here. And I believe what we're going to do is we're going to go on to a break, guys. It looks like some players need to go to the bathroom. And then we'll be back live into this overtime number two, Ace Gaming versus Elevate in your SIVO MLG Season 7 Pro League. Map number two of this best of two. We'll be back. All right, everybody. We are back. This is SIVO TV. I'm misled. I'm with Dust Moret. We are into overtime number two on map number two in your Sivo <laughs> MLG Season 7 Pro League, Ace Gaming versus Elevate. Elevate trying to fight for the win. They win this map. That's going to be 2-0 for them going forward. Ace Gaming would like to get that tie, though. So here we go. Overtime number two underway. Ace Gaming's going to stay on your CT side of team. Elevate will stay your T side of team. And again, it's going to turn into which team can actually win more CT side of rounds here. Yeah, who can actually just close this game instead of making just like these these really awful mistakes or just falling prey to like really silly plays from their opponent. Um, that's honestly what it really boils down to to be like no one seems to just really be focused enough to finally put this away. They always seem to just slip up just once and that's just enough in a situation like this to keep the game going. So now Elevate, as I said, your T-sided team here working a little bit slower. Let's see who's able to pick up the pieces as CTs and actually make something good happen here. Roka's going to hunt out the window, able to take down Disciple. One more still in the site. That's going to be Pex. Can they take him down? They will. After he does get himself a frag onto XP3, GRT on the rotator. Looking for the head of Roka. Almost eats a grenade. Yeah, he does take a little bit of damage from that grenade. Max Aki will take down Professor Chaos on the flank, though. That's going to even things out, make it a three-on-three three here. Ace trying to battle their way back into this B bomb site. Only two men there at the moment, near the window. The rotate's coming from Catwalk. That's going to be Max Aki. Checking to make sure no one's in the ladder room. No one is there watching. And Vez steps out, gets the first one. But then Roki and Aki's both get frags. And Roka closes it down onto GRT. That's a 4K for Roka. And Elevate will take that initial round into overtime number two. Yeah, I mean, they just kind of hit the B-bomb site quick and just overran it. And just, you know, overloaded the Ace Gaming defense there. And uh, they were able to put the round away. So that is... The lead here, of course, the magic number now is 22 to try to close out the game. You need 21 rounds to ensure at least a second overtime here. As Mizaki picks up an auto shotgun this round and is using it to rush underpass as the shenanigans continue. And Max Aki with that shotgun trying to work that into underpass does take a large hit there. Goes down to 48, so still trying to work that auto shotty. He's able to, but Professor Chaos is right there waiting. If anybody's going to try and work out that smoke, Max Aki not getting too aggressive with it. Professor Chaos still waiting on him. And Disciple does get himself a frag onto Aki, so Ace Gaming opens it up a little bit here as CTs. And Max Hockey takes a little bit more damage from his own teammate this time. Throws a nade up towards middle, does that hurt XP3, does a little 20 HP in total damage done to XP3. And guys, what we're looking here for for a win is 22 rounds. Whichever team gets the 22 first, that is going to be the game final. It is, and a Professor Cass able to catch the sample there inside the windows. Once again, Professor, uh, Professor Cass and his team looking for that mid control. They used this a lot in regulation, very successful for it. But this time, Garrett able to step out late and grab a frag on the XP3. And he keeps his team with a one man advantage off of making that little bit of a peak play there. So that was very, very important as Elevate once again trying to work themselves up connector. And two quick frags means they're going to get into this A bomb site. It's going to leave Vez there at the A bomb site all by himself at the moment, trying to fight this out. Roka's right there. He takes down Professor Chaos, but Roka trades him down. A 3K for Roka now, and Elevate is up 20 to 18. So, one more round in over half, number, overtime half number one for Elevate to try and grab all three rounds as Terrace. And again, it's going to turn into who can grab CT sided rounds. Yeah, exactly. I mean, both teams kind of struggling here on the CT side on a map that typically does favor CTs at least a little bit. I mean, I know that this map can be somewhat balanced. I know that terrorists do have a lot of opportunities. Those mid-control tactics and those really strong sight hits, especially on the A side of the map, can be very, very powerful. 
Um, but typically you still see CTs be a bit more successful than Ts, but that's been all but the case. Uh, this game, both teams really struggling to find something there on that side. Is, uh, now Ace Gaming and pretty much, you know, horribly broken by. Only gun they have really is a FAMAS and just some pistols. So it's looking pretty good for Elevate to, right here, guarantee themselves at least a triple overtime just before they even play the second half of this one. So that's that's good news for them, but can they close? That's the question. So Elevate looking like they should be able to grab this one against a pistoling. Uh, Ace Gaming, and they're looking like they're going to collect it here. It's going to be four versus two into this. It's going to be Vez and Max Aki left alive. And uh, Max Aki, uh, it's actually Vez who goes down there, so Max Aki will be the last one left. Working his way through the B-Halls at the moment. He does have a CZ in his hand. Smoke comes out, nading in his direction. They spot him. He hits the shot onto Roka, and that is going to be our half there. All in favor of Elevate, so now all they need is one CT-sided round to win this thing. That's it. You're right. They just need one round. One single CT round. That's all. And they were able to do that last <laughs> overtime. They got one, uh, the very last one. Uh, but can, can they figure out something here to put this game away? Obviously, we do have another game coming up pretty much directly after this. It's going to be Tempo Storm taking on Lunatic, where Tempo Storm looking to get a couple more points on the board, try to make it a bit harder for Liquid to catch up for them and steal away their, their third seed for LAN. Uh, and so that is kind of an important game. But uh, we got to get past this one first, and so far, neither team able to close it out. I think Elevate can do it now, though. I think they they got that 3-0 there. I think they should be able to do this one. Yeah, I mean, all they need is one round now. So Ace Gaming failed to get any CT set of rounds. Unless this goes to overtime number three, and Ace Gaming is able to win all three of these t set of rounds, that would be rough. Both these teams have abysmally bad counter-terrorist sides on this map. Uh, I really hope we don't see another mirror image here in one of these teams. Well... We either have to see a mirror image for Ace Gaming to win or Elevate's going to pick it up. But we'll just have to see how things go. Buyouts happening from both teams. So who can actually pick up that CT set around? Will it be Elevate or will Ace Gaming force overtime number three? I really think Elevate should be able to figure at least one round out here. I really can't see Ace Gaming win three in a row. But then again, who really knows? I mean, both teams have definitely struggled on their CT sides on this map so far. So... That is definitely a possibility here as uh, Ace looking like they want to do something hard over on the A side of the map. Roka getting very aggressive here in the A ramp. Avoiding that nade though and still with the gap in the smoke able to grab a kill and gets away. He's still on trying to chase him but he's able to snap away and even do some damage there at the very end. But the A hit has been uh, been told now. So Roka. Disciple. Yeah, Disciple's able to pick up one. We actually have Roka picking up one, so they've earned their way into the A bomb site for the time being. Disciple right there in the smoke has to drop his way back down into the sandwich to get away and avoid some danger. Oh, XP3 wings Vez right there through the smoke completely. Uh, had no idea who was there, just shot a shot out in that direction. Pax oh. comes up big from behind, and Ace Gaming has turned this into a four versus two as only Storm and his teammate. XP3 are left alive. Storm low on HP with only six. XP3 oh, out of the way, and it's all up to Storm now. And again, it's holding true. Both these teams are absolutely horrible on CT side of Mirage. As Ace Gaming is going to win this round, Storm's going to go on to the save with only six HP. That will make the score 21 to 19 in favor of Elevate. I feel like you should just cut off the last four words that statement you said earlier. What was that? Absolutely Storm terrible time. on the CT side of Mirage. Just, just cut out those last four words. Or five words. I think it's four words. They're just both not good tonight, man. That's all I can really say. Oh, you um, cut off CT side of Mirage. That's cool. <laughs> yeah. Alright. You didn't CT get the joke. I'm sorry. Mirage. Yeah, that's cool. Alright. Yeah, okay. I'm with you. Joke I'm like, work. we talking about Elevate being just bad in general? What were we talking about here? But, yeah, I... Dude, these guys are looking pretty rough tonight. I mean, Roka just trying to make an unnecessarily play there. I mean, it worked out. He got a kill, but just couldn't get away. And, and then that just kind of gave up the A bomb set as he was like kind of the, the main defender there. So I just need to, to tone it down. Stop trying special stuff to stick to what worked uh, when you were winning rounds right there at the end of regulation. Now, there's, there's no need to pull out. I mean, sometimes you do want to pull out crazy stuff to make a different look, but you don't need to do it every single round. And this round, they are playing a lot more standard. So. Uh, I think they. Th this is their best chance to go ahead and close it out here. I think they have a good setup. 
So holding on here from the CT side of things, or trying to, is going to be Elevate. Again, we're going to be forced into a situation where if they don't win this round, well, if they win this, it's game over. If they don't win this round, it's going to be an extremely broken, broken buy coming from Elevate, where Ace Gaming should easily be able to win that one, and we're going to go to overtime number three at that point. And uh, that's a lot. That's a lot of rounds played, because whichever team wins this has to have 22 rounds, and that's going to be the W for them. Smoke's coming out. Roka does take down Disciple. Max Aki will go on the trade out. It's going to be a four on four now. XP3 right there. Max Aki's hunting for him. He's looking for him to peek one more time. Uh, doesn't look like he's going to get too aggressive off of it. As, uh, it's going to be a four versus three now. Four-man retake attempt in favor of Elevate. Bomb is down. They just have to wait for the smokes to clear. Max Aki completely blind here. He's not going to get taken out somehow. Stays up, but Storm eventually trades him out. 3v2 now. And uh, this flashbang is going to come in. One player is going to be at the ramp. One player is going to be at Tetris. They take down the first frag. XP3 is right there. Can Pex line him up? No, he's not able to. Storm is going to get on the it's over. And we will have the conclusion of this game. Finally, Elevate will win in overtime number two over Ace Gaming. That's a 2-0 victory for Elevate tonight. As now, we're going to get ready to go into our next best of two matchup, which will be Tempo Storm versus Lunatic Esports. Yep, and that is a slightly more important game. Like I said, Tempo Storm, they already do have the third land spot clinched for now, but uh, they need to hold off Liquid, who's on the hunt, to try to steal it from them, and getting a win yeah. tonight would at least make it a bit more of a challenge for Liquid as they'll you know, put two more points in the standing. So definitely you know, important for Tempo Storm to get the W to the better their chances of holding on. And we've even already had the veto and pick phase already take place, so we won't get too much into it, but our maps will be... Cobble and Cash. Cobble was Tempo Storm's pick. Cash was Lunatic's pick. Um, definitely favor Tempo Storm on their pick on Cobble for sure. Uh, as far as Cash goes, that could be an interesting game. But once again, I think I would still favor Tempo Storm. So this should be 2 0 territory based on the maps, I think. Uh, Cobble and Cash. Yeah, I, I agree with you there. I definitely, they should be able to easily take down Cobble. I mean, Lunatics cash might be Lunatics, a little tougher, but yeah. Lunatics never play Cash in our league for one, whereas I've actually seen Tempo Storm play it pretty well. And then Cash, Tempo Storm are 6-1 and one on Cash in our league, man. They're playing some really good Cash in our league. So, yeah, I, I think that uh, we should be good there. But uh, I think we're well, just going to jump straight to the game. Map wins. Lunatic has two map wins on Cash in our league. I meant Cobble. They, ha they haven't played yeah, Cobble at never all. Never played Cobble then, for us. And then Cash, like, we have...